Welcome back guys to yet another episode of Ice Heart Truth. So as you can see, I don't have speed with me today, nor do I have Hunter. I'm by myself doing a solo mission here, again for the trout. Me and Speed had a freaking blast yesterday targeting these things. I've never caught a split before. He's never caught one. We both made it happen yesterday, but here's what we got setting up. It was literally so cold. It is the coldest day I've ever ice fished in my life. Right before I got to the lake, it was negative 40 in the truck. That's nuts. Right now it's probably about negative 33, 34, 35. About eight, nine o'clock in the morning right now. I just got set up here. Here is our hole today. A little bit smaller than yesterday's, which is okay because I'm by myself. And I didn't want to drill any more than that with the K drill, which actually performed very flawlessly this morning, may I add. And here's what I'm starting off with today, guys. I've got a tuned up custom fusion rod, a little sienna with four, four, six pound line. I'm not actually sure. Just a little jig that I'm gonna tip with a plastic or some uh, Euro larva yet, I'm not really sure. It'll work nonetheless, and uh, let's get at it. Ooh. Hello, hello. Right there. Oh yes, now that's a splake. Guys, he was right there on it. On my freaking phone. Come here, come here buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, stop moving, don't move, don't move. You're good, you're good. Wow, that's a pretty one. On my phone, I just got set up not too terribly long ago. That's okay, I'm keeping this fish, but... Oh man, these things are just slimy. I'm gonna get ripped apart in the comment sections about holding these fish, but that's okay. Keeping them. Guys, pretty fish though. Look at that, probably 17 inches. Count that as one of my overs, over 16 inch here, inches here. I'd call this uh, solo mission a success so far. You will run, these things are so squirmy. So incredibly squirmy. Well, that took like no time. Been here 10, 15 minutes. Just got all my stuff drilled. I'm gonna put that one topside. It's a pretty fish. I'd also like to note, guys, that I actually brought somewhere to sit this time. I got a bucket. No more uh, using the ice trunk or using that thing. Guys, I got one on right now. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice flake. Came out of nowhere. I didn't even get time to start the camera or nothing. Come here, bud, dude. Come here, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy crap. That's like 10 minutes after the first one. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love this. Look at this one. Look how pretty this one is. Guys, so I, I, I started my GoPro, and then two seconds later, I started that camera, and he already had it in his mouth. He didn't... There was no hesitation. There was no nothing. He just slammed that little jig. I didn't. I, I couldn't have time to start the cameras. That is so cool. He's fat, and that's my second one. That's gonna be another one over 16. I'm gonna. That's a nice fish. Wow! Look at the colors. I got to show you. Like legit, guys. You guys see this fish right here? I just caught that one. Like no more than 10, 15 minutes ago. And then this one came in, and he didn't even hesitate. He just throttled it. All right, buddy. Yep. Yep. There goes my pants. Just ruined. Look at that. I don't even know how to hold these things. Something like that. I'm going to guess. He's fat too. Look at the colors on that sucker. That's crazy. I'm going to get the big camera off the tripod guys and just show you these fish a little bit because there is, in my book, there's nothing more pretty than, than these things right now. Besides maybe like a brook trout or I, I don't even know. Like these are gorgeous, but I'm going to get my jig back down there while I do that. Let me know guys in the comment section below if you guys have ever caught a splake here in Minnesota or ever, wherever you live because all I know is I'm going to be chasing these things a lot more through the ice. They're freaking gorgeous. Like the colors there are just unreal. So I'm going to get back down to fishing down there because I there's going to be more coming in today. It's early in the morning and uh, I, I'm excited. Oh, dang. I started the GoPro. And I'm going to start the big camera. Freaking missed a nice one, guys. Oh. That is so frustrating. So on my phone, of course, like usual. Didn't miss him. I, I hooked him and he just got off. Just going to put it out there. There's nothing that sucks more than missing a fish. Especially when you can see him. Oh, oh. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. There's another one down there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Like, I'm not joking, guys. And it's big. It's freaking big. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, how does that happen? And I know there's gonna be some, oh, 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 here he comes, here he comes. He's spinning right on me. Got him, got him, got him, fur fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. There he is, guys. Like, that's that same fish, same fish, guarantee it, guarantee it. 
Game, guarantee it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, don't get wrapped around my ice block there. Oh god, I don't want to lose them. I just want to land them real quick, just real quick for me, please land. Oh yeah. yeah. Third one of the day. He'll stop moving, just for one second. Just gorgeous. And he just, he's fat, he's pretty, and I'm all about it. Like, that's unreal. You just have to take a minute to admire these fish. They have like this tiger pattern up top here. These last two bigger ones have at least. Minnesota Splake. How awesome is that, guys? That's freaking sweet. I'm all about that. All about it. All the tulpa you guys saw, not in the previous video, I think it's a couple videos ago by now. Those all we we smoked those all. Wade did. Andrea's dad and he was with us that day and they're freaking they were unreal. He did like a maple something smoke on a Traeger grill. Wade, you're gonna correct me if you're gonna watch this, which you probably won't, but it was it was unreal. I love smoked fish. Even those little tulpa that are like this big, we smoked them all and they were freaking crazy good. Those trout are gonna be just as good or splay. Like I don't even I don't know if they're a subspecies of trout or what they how that works, but they're they're a blast to sight fish. I will I will say that, dude. What's up? How's it going? Just freaking caught a monster splake. No way, dude. I'm serious. I just set up here and I've caught three. Like these are way bigger than any of the ones yesterday. Or like on average, they're bigger. I haven't seen a small one yet. Ooh, oh, sorry. I gotta go. Big one. <laughs> okay. I'm not here, Tanner. Can I Facetime you? Yeah, Facetime. Oh, here he is. He's about dial to it. he's about to smoke the jig. He's about to smoke the jig. Do you want me to dial it? I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh shit! I'm, Here, gonna I'm gonna set you down if I hook up. How big you think this one was? What? 16, 17? Okay. Let's just wait here. See if he'll come back around. He's really smart though. I can tell you that much. He's not stupid. He'll come back around. Here he comes. There he is. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Got him! Got him! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Horse X on the chin. Well, if you guys can see there, there's that one, and it actually has another line down in its mouth and I'm gonna try to get that out so that uh, I can get this one back just a gorgeous fish probably shoot right at that 16 inch mark 15 16 more like 15 I'm gonna guess I was on the phone when that one bit with my buddy Tanner just talking about trout fishing for uh, when we go up to Manitoba this year but I'm gonna get the release on this one I wasn't able to get the line out of its mouth from the other angler who caught it or lost it but uh, nice fish either way there he goes sweet there's nothing better, guys, than watching these things come in this hole like this. And I actually seen one swim by as I was going ahead and uh, unhooking that one there. So this is, might get juicy. So right now it's about two o'clock. I'm sitting on my three fish right there. And I released one earlier. You can see how cold it is. Look at all the smoke just coming in. And I've got the heater on high, but I can still see my breath in here. So it's not not that incredibly warm out. But let's, let's take a step outside here. Boys, it's cold out here. It's probably like... Negative 30, 31, 32, something like that. It's freezing out. I shouldn't have gone fishing. I really shouldn't have, but it's been so good. I, I'm glad I did, I guess. And this camera's gonna fog back up since I stepped inside. Even though, oh, what's got? I think we're gonna be good for the rest of the day. Let's get at it. Pitter patter, let's get at her. <laughs> Ooh. Got him, got him, got him. Yes, that's a little guy, perfect. That one, I'm for sure, is under 16, and I'm gonna count that as fish number four. Just put this one on the tape, guys. It is right at 13 and a half, so that is going to be my fourth one of the day I'm gonna keep. I know I said I wasn't gonna keep any more, but I love smoked fish, and the lake I'm fishing, it gets pressure no matter what, so, you know, I don't really feel too terribly bad, and I, for the most part, I don't really keep fish all year, so most of their crappies we end up releasing, so. It is gonna go topside with me too after a uh, little head fall it took. That one that I released that was bigger, I ended up just held it over the hole and everything, so it didn't nothing really happen to it. So if it did fall, it'd fall into the hole, not into the ice where it could bonk its head or injure itself. Trout in general have a really, really soft skin, as in terms they just if they take a hard fall or anything, the skin can get all damaged up. That's why you'll see people use those nets that are like uh, some kind of like silicone or something. Well, I'm gonna call it, people. It's, it's getting to that time of hour where I could stay out here for another probably 45 minutes to an hour, but I haven't seen it fishing a bit, which I probably will then, that's what that usually means, but my heater's going out and that's my last propane tank, so I, I'm i done, I can't stay out here, it's too, 
too cold to do that and I want to be able to have a little bit of heat while I pack up here. So if any of you guys are new to the channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to say it every video because I think we can grow guys. We got a lot of potential left here in Ice Star Truth. So as always, uh, as always, I'm not really, not really sure what to say. How about see you on the next one.